Hey, what's up you guys? Tom is back with another Linsense video. Today we have a fragrance from Mason Alumbra, but before we get into that, just want to say thank you guys again. It is an honor to be playing on one of those electronic devices, whether it's a cell phone, that tablet, that laptop, that Macintosh, that brand new big screen TV. Whether you watch me at home, at work, on a plane, a train, or an automobile. Maybe you watch me in first class. Maybe you watch me right next to that bathroom. Maybe you watch me right next to that emergency door because you got that extra room to move around wherever and however you watch me it is an honor if you guys are new to this channel you like what you see hit the subscribe button comment and like likes are very important oh uh, man one of my favorite sellers you know he's pretty much is my favorite seller out there in california the oud store go check that store out he has a website again i'll leave the description down below the website and to his personal ebay uh, selling station, if you will. But uh, anyways, he had a few fragrances that I choose uh, to pick out based off of the bottle and based off of what I thought it was a clone of. Apparently, some of these Middle Easterns, you don't know what you're getting into, especially when the bottle doesn't look like, you know, anything that you've seen. Maybe the, the bottle looks just different. Maybe it's got a weird name. But this one, you know, we're going to kind of just guess and go with the flow on this one because it's in a tin can as if they just got finished dumping out some corn into some corn pudding and decided to throw a fragrance in here wrap it up and distribute that juice this one is called glacier bold eau de parfum now you guys know this is going to be a clone on john paul gaultier's labo so i'm thinking bold means labo and uh I'm not sure if this is just the regular EDT or the Parfum Edition. Um, I know one of them has like ginger and coconut. The other one has just coconut and lime and uh, conca bean. You know, now that I look at it, if I really did my research on this actual fragrance, I probably might have not even got it because, to be honest with you, there's too much coconut in the fragrance. It just, you know honestly it just smells a little bit too much like a suntan lotion if you will i could have just put suntan lotion on and sprayed something else and it went along with my day so put the coconut and stuff like that in here and eh, who knows but i guess this is uh, the way to smell like a beach like you're going to the beach if you have to go into work maybe you want that coconutty smell on your clothes and stuff like that yeah go to work and then uh, makes you think of the beach while you're there even though you're probably cleaning out bathrooms or maybe you're just typing on computers all day who knows you're doing one of those but this takes you right to the beach so here we go there it is nice tin can this one's been uh beat to heck uh the stock went down three points remember big daddy when we throw the can down on the ground to get the dents but there we go let's see how do we open this thing let's see does it just got a top no it has a bottom okay so the bottom is just gonna slide out like this and boom we don't even get the whole body just a kind of looks like it's going to be a body but uh you know what i'm kind of glad they didn't go with the whole body we do have a fragrance from fragrance world that decided to take the body and take it up another notch look at how strong this guy is look at his uh look at his backside pretty big nice ass but uh this was fragrance world's attempt at uh the classic john paul gautier jpg but this one went for the full body kind of looks like he's in that batman suit this one just straight i don't know what this is it's almost like one of those goofy mannequins the ones that uh, don't have any kind of body form or just you can tell it's a mannequin this is like the mannequin without uh any kind of um uh, you know any 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 kind of builder you know good quality to it just it's got arms and a body a torso that's it but Nonetheless, let's spray it, see what it's all about. Cap is pretty light. Here we go. Ready to smell like the beach. Here we go. Big two sprayer. Really tonka beanish and citrusy right up at the top. Really tonka bean. A little bit too sweet, in my opinion. Yeah, this is um okay this is this is one of those occasions where i like it better on skin than in the air most of the time it's more of what you smell in the air 
than on the skin. I like it on the skin. In the air, it's a little bit too sweet, a little bit too powdery, kind of. Again, it, it smells like lime pie, coconut -y, tonka beans, a little bit too sweet. But getting closer to it, I think that lime really helps elevate this whole fragrance. Now, again, it probably elevates it to some other noses in the air. That lime, that little bit of coconut, a little bit of that tonka bean, that sweetness. But again, on the skin, I really appreciate that lime because if this was a little bit, if this didn't have that lime there, maybe it just had like maybe some woods instead, maybe like a cedar wood and then the tonka bean, the coconut, I think this would be too sweet. I think the lime kind of tones all that down just a little bit. You know, on skin, I quite enjoy this fragrance. And again, it's gonna have to be up to the people around me if they like this fragrance. Do I get any compliments? Does anyone say, hey man, that whatever you got smells good, what is it? If I get that, then okay. I guess as long as no one's saying that you stink, I guess I should be good as well. But it's not like a, a fragrance that, in my opinion, that when I'm in the car, I wanna smell this, okay? I, I guess if you're, you know, in the office again, if you're in the office, maybe you, maybe you're one of those guys that picks up all the port potties at the state fair. I don't know. At the end of your day, you just feel like you wish you were at the beach. You spray this on, man, this will take you right there. It's definitely got that kind of outdoorsy, again, that coconutty, sweet, citrusy smell. But me personally, it's not a fragrance that I want to smell all the time, okay? Once in a while, yes, maybe. But this is definitely not an everyday fragrance, in my opinion, it's definitely not a, it's like a playful date night fragrance, though. If you were to go out to play some miniature golf or something like that, maybe go see a nice driving movie if they got that, maybe you're just sitting outside, maybe you got a truck, you sit in the back of the bed of the truck, you watch that uh, driving movie there, you get spray the sun, smells pretty good. You know, wear this in the warm weather. Honestly, I think this would be good in the cold weather too, just because of that sweetness. It's a little bit too sweet. Now, again, if you live in the colder weather, you know, colder situations, get the middle, uh, the, the uh, Midwest, you got the Northeast, those cold areas. This actually, I think, will be good, especially with that tonka bean, giving you that nice sweetness. And again, it is gonna take you to that place, that beach, that lake, if you will. We got a lake. You guys might have a beach. We got brown water. You guys got blue water. This place got green water. This place got clear water. Hey, we all got bodies of water all around us. So with that being said, again, I really like this on the skin. That lime is very nice. It's not, in my opinion, it's not super limey. It's not super just like, oh, this just smells like straight up lime juice. You get a little bit of mixture of that, like kind of that inside of the lime and a little bit of that, the, the, the outside, the skin, if you will. Uh, see if the wife likes it. See if she can even smell it when she gets into this room. I can. She can smell it. Starting in the living room. So she smelled it starting in the living room, which is um, near a few, feet like you know, five, ten feet away. Uh, do you like it? Um, it's not bad. It kind of is it like citrus in there? Citrus. There is citrus in here. Citrus, coconut, and I believe some tonka bean. Okay. I'm not, uh, I don't like I'm assuming this is more of the Parfuma edition because I'm not getting any ginger in this one. It's just more, again, sweet, coconutty, and citrusy. Again, the coconut and the tonka bean kind of gives it this powdery smell in the air that that lime comes in, gives you a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of that sour, a little bit of that citrus, and then a little bit of that peel action. Okay, again, on skin. Again, it's not the best, but it's definitely, in my opinion, much more pleasable in the skin than in the air. But again, that is all just a matter of opinion. That is my opinion. I'm going to stick to it. But there is that. Again, this is the armless, uh, abless, chestless, glacier bold from Ace and the Lumbra. Again, this is a clone of Le Beau. Again, whether this is the EDT or the Parfum Edition, I'm going to go with the Parfum just because again, I don't smell any ginger in that. So with that being said, I'll definitely rock it. Probably not all the time, maybe just occasionally, you know, if I again want to smell like that beach area, okay. 
but uh, nonetheless, it is a pretty decent fragrance. Okay, so do I encourage everyone to go run out there and get it? Maybe if you really want to get that Lebo, maybe you like that actual scent, but you don't want to spend that Lebo money, then you go and grab the Glacier Boat. So with that being said, I'm going to get up out of here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And if you guys did, hit the likes, comment, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Peace.